Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your hearing aids to talk on your phone completely hands-free. Coming up. In 2013, we saw the release of the first hearing aids that could connect directly with an iPhone to stream audio into your hearing aids without having to use an intermediary device like a neck loop. This was made possible by the development of a new wireless technology called Bluetooth Low Energy that made it possible to transfer audio data from an iPhone directly into a pair of made-for-iPhone hearing aids. This battery-friendly form of Bluetooth technology made it possible for hearing aids to do things that you could never Ever do with hearing aids before. Some of these improvements included an app on your smartphone that you could use to adjust the settings of your hearing aids and the ability to stream audio directly from your phone into both of your devices. This means that you could listen to music, TV, podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube videos, or even phone calls directly into both of your hearing aids from an iPhone at any given time. Not only did this significantly improve the clarity of the sound that you stream directly into both of your hearing aids, it also made hearing aids more fun to use and more convenient to use because it made it possible to listen to whatever you want to, whenever you want to. It is really hard to express just how much of a game changer Bluetooth Low Energy was for individuals with hearing loss. There was one major problem of this Bluetooth Low Energy, but before I get into what that problem was, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release new videos every single week. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what that major flaw was. You see, before direct Bluetooth streaming capabilities became available, if you wanted to stream audio from a device into your hearing aids, you had to use some type of an intermediary device to act as a relay point to get that sound into your devices. A lot of of these things were like a neck loop that you'd wear around your neck or something that you'd have to clip to your shirt. While this was a pain in the butt because you had to remember to charge these streaming devices and actually take them with you when you left the house, it did make it possible to be hands-free on the phone because the microphones of those devices would pick up your voice and send it to the person on the other end of the line. This meant that you could just keep your phone in your pocket while you're having a phone conversation and you could keep your hands free to do things like cooking dinner or driving a car. While Bluetooth Low Energy hearing aids were fantastic because you no longer needed one of these intermediary devices, you could not be hands-free on these phone calls because there was no two-way audio transfer. This meant that if you were on a phone call using your iPhone and you were streaming the audio into your hearing aids, you still had to have your phone out to talk into so they could hear you. Not only is this inconvenient, but as of 2022, nearly all states in the United States have imposed some kind of band against using a handheld phone while you're driving, whether it's a complete ban of a cell phone while you're driving or whether it's you just not being able to use it when driving through a school zone. Not to mention, with our innate human desire to multitask, no one wants to have to hold the phone when talking anymore. This is why having the ability to be hands-free when talking on the phone is such a big deal and why it's so cool that Oticon, today's video sponsor, now lets you talk 100% hands-free when using using an iPhone with their hearing aids. With an update to the low energy Bluetooth protocol for iPhones, you can now use an Oticon hearing aid that is on the Polaris platform, so you no longer have to hold your phone when you're talking on the phone. After a firmware update to your Oticon hearing aids by your hearing care professional, it will make it possible to enable two-way audio streaming when you're on a phone call or when you're on a video call with select iOS devices. It does this by enabling the microphones on your hearing aids to pick up your voice to send to the person on the other end of the line. To enable this feature on the iPhone, you first need that firmware update by your hearing care professional. And then to activate two-way audio, you will need to go to the MFI menu by dragging down on the top right corner of your phone and click on the ear icon. This will allow you to change the input options of your own voice to automatic, left, right, or off. If you choose automatic, left or right, your voice will be picked up by your hearing aid microphones. If you select off, then you will need to continue to talk into your iPhone's microphone. 
Now there is a major benefit that a lot of people are overlooking when it comes to this feature, and that is the ability to choose whether or not you are going to go hands-free with your phone, or if you still want to be able to talk into your phone, because if you're in a noisy situation, sometimes the person that you're talking to will hear you better if you still hold your phone up to your mouth. This is something that you cannot toggle between with some other hands-free hearing aids. Being able to be hands-free on the phone is an amazing feature that improves upon the already impressive lineup of Oticon hearing aids that are on the Polaris platform, which is the first line of hearing aids that uses a deep neural network to perform deep learning. Essentially, instead of having to rely on an engineer's ability to create algorithms that tell your hearing aids how to process sound, Oticon's deep neural network was trained with over 12 million sound samples to better identify what components of sound make speech speech and noise noise. The result was an extremely popular Oticon More hearing aid that could process sound in a completely different way than any hearing aid that came before it, and now this technology has worked its way into the Oticon Zircon hearing aids and the Oticon Play PX hearing aids. At the end of the day, the advancement of hearing aid technology never stops, and adding new features to already amazing hearing aids is something that we will continue to see for years to come. So if that one feature that you've been waiting for is the ability to go hands-free when talking on your iPhone, I'm happy to say that the wait is over. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.